Alan, I talked to you after the game and celebrated your touchdown with you. And, you know, there's good emotions after a 50-point outburst like that. But now that you've had the weekend to review film and look at things, what was the best thing you saw from your team overall? Um, you know, I feel like we did a good job playing together as a team. Uh, you know, you can never play a perfect football game, but, you know, I feel like we did good individual or you know, like as a team and individually, we all kind of did our assignments and did our job. So, you know, it's always fun to, you know, kind of see that. And it's fun to see the outcome of that when everybody does their job. I mean, you can always learn so much from film. And that's, I think, is huge part is you just got to learn and then, you know, keep stacking it on and try to become better each and every week. Okay, let's stay with that learning theme after you've been critiquing yourself and your team. What what has to change at, upon film review for BYU to get better in week two? Uh, you know, I think the first that first week, there's a lot of uh, different types of excitement and nerves and all types of things going on. And it's just kind of like getting back to playing a game. So, you know, I think there's different situations and different things that happen. So, you know, I think just... Uh, being more sound it could be like on our blocking and on uh, our assignments so just probably like little things like that just becoming better and seeing different things that defense does and just learning from it and becoming better I know you're tough on yourself and this is what makes a lot of BYU players great you're really tough on yourselves what grade would you give your personal performance in week number one against South Florida <laughs> that's a tough question <laughs> I you know I don't know. It's tough. I don't like, you know, answering. Those types of things. <laughs> and I feel like I did pretty good. I, I mean, there's always things I could do better, but, you know, I'm not quite sure what I what I could grade myself on that. <laughs> I'm going to give you an A minus, OK, because it was really good. And, but just an, a little bit of room to improve. And it's probably an A minus because, dang it, I wanted you to spike the football or something. when You got <laughs> into the end zone. How would you rate your celebration after the touchdown catch? My celebration was terrible. I, uh, <laughs> no, I actually, uh, I kind of, I, when I caught the ball, I saw a guy like quarter my eye and then I kind of dove into the end zone and my momentum kept me rolling. So I did like three rolls and I couldn't stand up. So my, my celebration is pretty weak because, you know, I was on the ground rolling for so long. <laughs> it's okay. A minus room to grow there, right? That's room true. to grow. <laughs> That's true. And you can always talk to Isaac Rex because he's got like 17 pre-planned celebrations in his mind at all times, right? Yeah, that's true. He's a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as far as the tight end position group goes, uh, what types of things are you looking for during film critique? Um, you know, I think just whether, we're, you know, as, as a tight end, there's a lot of different things that we do, whether it's pass blocking, run blocking, uh, running routes. So I think it's important for us to, you know, see what we can do better on routes, like recognize the coverages and also our blocking technique, you know, did we get the right man? So, and even in the past game, sometimes they, you know, do different types of blitzes. So there was all those little things that we can always, you know, try to critique and, and be better at for the next week and this week of practice. What was your favorite play from the 50 point outburst week one win against USF? Uh, I think the first play, the very first play of the game, that was, uh, you know, just crazy. I, you know, pretty simple play, but, you know, Puka just took it to the house, got a few blocks, and, you know, it just was crazy. Everybody was going crazy. I mean, I was running down the field, and Jaron kind of came by and screaming in my ear, and then everybody started going crazy. So it was, you know, fun, a fun environment, a uh, fun time after that play. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you're involved in the blocking there, Dallin. So what was happening uh, from your position? Uh, yeah, we just kind of, you know, both went out to block and uh, nobody was really there. And then last second, I saw a guy kind of coming. So I just kind of, you know, nowadays you can't really crack back too hard or else they'll call a flag. So kind of just, you know, crack back a little bit and threw my shoulder into him. And, you know, luckily it was the right guy and Puka was able to make a great read off of it and took it to the house. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable start to the season. First play from scrimmage, 75 yards, a dream start for sure. Yeah. BYU is hoping that dream continues into week two against Baylor. So as we transition into preparation for, for the Bears, what do you know about Baylor's defense and what they're going to try and do to slow down your offense? Uh, you know, Baylor is a great team overall. They're a very sound team, uh, disciplined. They have a, a lot of good athletes on their team. And, uh, you know, 
it's always a, a fun matchup when you can go up against a team like that because, uh, you know, especially when it's home at Lavelle Edwards, uh, you know, it's just fun going against those great teams like that. So it'll be a fun game. From a personnel standpoint, um, which of their players or position groups jumped out uh, off of film? If you've had chance to watch film, and maybe you haven't gotten into that too much, but what, what's jumping off the page from Baylor? Um, you know, I think uh, they have a really good uh, overall defense. Uh, you know, they have a really good defensive line and some good linebackers that are returning. So, you know, it's always um, good to go up against guys like that. And their secondary is good. So, you know, overall, they have a really good defense. And so it'll be a fun time, to, a fun opportunity to play against them. How are you a different player this year compared to what type of player you were last year when BYU played Baylor? Oh, man, I mean, you know, last year, uh, just coming back from a mission, you know, there's so many different things that you have to try to do to get ready for the season and try to get your body right and mentally get right. And, uh, you know, it takes a while for your body to get back in, into, you know, shape. And even it's like just football, like uh, just like little things on the field. And so, you know, last year, it's more thinking about, uh, you know, like thinking about every single rep, but this year it's a little more like instincts, like the instincts come back. And so I'm a lot more confident out there and I feel a lot more better than I did last year. So it's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, does that confidence come in part to the mustache that you're currently rocking on your face right now? A hundred percent. Whenever I have the mustache, the confidence just, you know, goes through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> now, while we're talking about mojo and swagger, uh, the uniforms for the Baylor game were unveiled early this week. All Royals, you're going with a gloss finish Royal helmet. How do you feel about the uniforms you're going to be rocking for the home opener? Uh, you know, I think they're awesome. You know, I think our guys uh, down there do a great job at switching it up and, you know, making good, uh, good like, different color schemes and, and stuff like that. And it's always fun, you know, to – I mean, you look good, you play good, so it's always cool. Yeah those uniforms and different types of things to look forward to. It's cool. Do you have a favorite uniform combo? If so, what is it? Um, I actually liked the all Navy with the Navy matte helmet. I think those mm. are, are my favorite. Those are cool. Yeah, those are super clean for sure. Okay, well, you're all royal on Saturday night. Running out of the tunnel, it's going to be primetime kick uh, just after 8 p.m., for what we anticipate will be certainly a top 25 showdown, a top 10 team. Maybe Baylor climbs inside the top 10 this week. We'll find out. But wh what have you envisioned that atmosphere and that experience will be like? Um, you know, I think it'll be amazing. Uh, whenever you come to the Edwards, you know, you always get amazing fans who are screaming and, and going crazy and, you know, rooting for BYU. And, you know, that's the type of fans that we have is, you know, they travel with us. I mean, I'm sure we had more. It seemed like we had more fans than USF, so that was pretty cool. But, I mean, LFL, they packed the house, and they're loud, and so we're looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Last question for you, Dallin. As a tight end and as a pass catcher, it's very difficult to ever be content with receiving the ball enough. So how do you get the ball thrown to you more from Jaron Hall? You know, I always try to get open. <laughs> I think, you know, <laughs> you know, gaining his confidence in me and uh, really just, you know, I think a lot of it comes from just studying film and, you know, knowing what defenses are doing and trying to find those holes or uh, I think it's a huge part comes from doing that and just knowing where to be at the right time and right place. Dallin, congratulations again on a week one win. I would love to give you some BYU Sports Nation karma to go out, fall out against Baylor on Saturday night. So I am extending the BYU Sports Nation karma to you. Thank you. And uh, can't wait to watch you uh, take the field on Saturday night. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right.